I bought this uh, six inch hedge trimmer, a Black & Decker GSL 35 at a yard sale this weekend. And the downside was it didn't have a charger. I quickly looked at this port and I thought, okay, no problem. This is gonna just have one of those generic uh, round, uh, you know, heads to the, to the cord. But it turns out if you look closer, there's two contacts in there as well as some side contacts. So four contacts. I, I looked on eBay, They're, they do sell a charger for $16 it's for this model and a couple of their cordless drills, but I wasn't going to buy that. I went to my thrift store thinking I could find something to work. Turns out I found this, this car charger. It's for the cigarette lighter, which, um, you know, I guess ideally I'd have one for the, the outlet of the, the, the house outlet. But it did have these contacts that look like they matched nicely for those center contacts on the, on the unit. The way it originally came was like this. And I'm doing this video after the fact because I went ahead and cut this not really knowing if the, this was going to work. And it turned out that it did start to charge. What I, I, I use a utility knife, had this down on the table and just scored this a number of times all the way around, round and round and round until it finally let loose. And that's what I ended up with. And then it had this kind of flat side on there. So I thought, oh, that'll look real nice. It'll kind of fit in there just like it was like it was made for it. Plugged it in, it went up, you know, plugged it into the into the cigarette lighter, no green light. Uh, turned it around, got a green light. Downloaded a PDF of this model of the, the owner's manual. It says that when it's charging, it will be a green light. When it's finished charging, it doesn't blink, it doesn't turn red, um, it just will stay green as long as there's power to it. So, but I did get the green light. The, the thing that I'm a little concerned with and I'm gonna have to um, just keep an eye on is, is 3.6 volts. This output is 12 volts. Obviously more, more power coming to the unit than it really is wanting. And I, I also saw on YouTube that I, th I think the, the, two, the two central contacts are, you know, are positive and neutral, but I'm thinking the side contacts are something to regulate the battery so when it's done charging, it won't just keep, keep going over because I think that's where you run a risk with these lithium batteries of, of starting a fire or a, a safety issue. What I think I'm going to do on this is just... When, when this is done, it, it came charged. When, I, when, it's, when it's dead, I'm just gonna slowly, I mean, just give it five, 10 minutes of charge, enough to be able to use it and just kind of keep topping it off as opposed to just plugging this in and walking away. I wouldn't want to do that because I'm just not sure it, it's gonna be safe that way. Hope this helps out if you, if you lost your charger or, or, or bought one of these like I did where it didn't come with a charger and uh, Thanks for watching my video.